Hi everyone, this is Sushant. So guys, in today's session, we are going to learn about trades and security schemas, which is part four. So in part three, we have covered all the remaining user endpoints. Okay, we have uh, created the common collection. Okay, how you can use the same common collection for defining different endpoints. We saw in that, and we covered all the basic endpoints uh, related to the user. So guys, in this part four, we are going to cover about how you can uh, what are, what are traits basically, how to define traits in Reml, and how to define security schemas for each and every endpoint, so that if any user wants to consume or utilize your APIs for some reason, uh, they need to provide some authentication, okay, or they need to provide whatever things we have passed as under traits for each and every endpoint. Okay, guys, so let's understand what are traits. Okay, let's go to the next slide. So, guys, uh, from this definition, it is written: a trait is used to extract patterns from method definitions that are common across resources. Or, guys, uh, in simple words, I would say, trait in Raml is used to uh, define the same elements in different request URIs so that they can be uh, reused. Okay, so let's say uh, you have a correlation ID. Okay, you want to consume the APIs which you have defined in the RAML, and you want uh, that uh, whosoever will consume your APIs, whosoever will hit your endpoints, whatever you have designed, they need to pass a correlation ID. Okay, so in that case, guys, you can create a uh, under uh, you can create correlation ID as a part of traits, so that every time whosoever will be consuming those APIs, they need to pass that correlation ID. As a part of header, okay, and that same trait we will define across each and every endpoint. So for every endpoint, they need to pass the correlation ID, and it's your choice. You want to mark that uh, correlation ID as required as true or false, okay? It depends upon uh, okay what level of uh, uniqueness you want in your APIs, okay? So you can either uh, mark it as true that every time whosoever will consume your APIs, they need they need to always pass the correlation ID, or you can always or you can pa mark it as false also, that it's not necessary to pass the correlation ID every time. Okay. So guys, uh, initially I will cover some theoretical part. What are traits? Okay. Now uh, I will show you in the next slide how to define the security schemas. And then in the last, we will go to the endpoint platform and see how we can define these two things: traits and security schemas on different endpoints. So let's move on to the next slide, which is what are security schemas? Okay. So guys, uh, so as you know, so if you do not define any security schemas for your APIs, then anyone can trigger your APIs. Okay. So it will so. Whosoever will be able to consume wants to consume your APIs, they can trigger it and make use of it. Okay, but you if you want that only some authenticated people should consume those APIs. Okay, then in that case, you need to define some security schemas. Okay, that uh, whosoever will consume those APIs, they need to pass these credentials. They need to have they should have some authentication. Okay, before triggering your APIs. So there are different type of authentications. So in this part, where I'm going to cover the basic authentication. So every any time, every time that whosoever will be consuming your APIs, they need to pass the username and password. Okay, while consuming. So guys, this is the way we used to define the security schemas. You can see on the blue box. Okay, so here it is written security schemas, and then basic auth. Okay, because we are going to use the basic auth. Okay, and then description. So it is written each request must contain the headers necessary for. Okay, basic authentication, and type is basic authentication. So guys, without wasting time, let's go to the endpoint platform and see how we can implement it. How we can define security schemas and traits. Okay, let's go there. So. We'll go to the design center. Okay. 
this is the APS specification on which we worked previously in part 3 in previous parts okay so so guys uh, as we discussed as a part of trades uh, so we will see how we can define the trades okay and how we can pass that correlation ID across different endpoints okay with the help of our trades by defining it as under trades so uh, let me write so guys you need to uh, if you want to define some trades you need to write it like this you need to write trades then tracking params because correlation ID is a kind of tracking param okay okay so trades tracking params and then we will write headers because in headers we want to pass it as a correlation ID so we'll write headers and in headers what we want to pass we want to pass correlation ID okay so we'll write hey we want to pass correlation ID and guys uh, you can uh, put semicolon and uh, provide some description also pass correlation ID to uniquely uniquely identify each and every instance each and every instance okay now guys in the type we will specify what will be the type of this correlation ID it's a string it's an integer okay what else so we will uh, specify it as a string type string data type okay and guys in the last we will uh, specify whether uh, we need to pass it every time or like it uh, it's not a necessary one so we will uh, not we will keep it as unnecessary so we will keep it as false okay so you not need to pass it every time but if you want uh, to pass this correlation ID every time whosoever will consume your APS then you can mark it as true also okay but in my case I'm keeping it as false so it's your choice based on whatever use case you have whatever project you are working on you can do it so guys uh, this is how I define the traits okay correlation ID so now if I want to if I want each and every point each and every endpoint that in each and every endpoint uh, this correlation ID should be there in the headers that whosoever will consume your endpoints they need to pass the correlation ID so traits we have defined but how we can uh, assign this correlation ID to these endpoints so that this uh, trait would be related to these endpoints okay how we can link this correlation ID okay this trait which we have defined with these endpoints how we can link both so guys uh, there is a very easy way to link both of them so after get request so because uh, this health check is a kind of uh, get request so as a part of this method under this method you need to write is like this okay and then you need to pass square brackets and then guys simply you need to copy this and paste it that's it so we have linked these tracking params with this health check endpoint guys okay so if I click on this health check so you can see it has populated that hey in headers correlation ID should be there it's not required but it should you can pass it so if I mark it as true let's see so it will be marked as required here now you can see so every time whosoever wants to consume your APS they need to pass this correlation ID necessarily okay so 
that's how we linked this tracking params traits with these this endpoint with the help of this uh, statement this code okay so similarly guys we will copy this and do the same for other endpoints as well okay so similarly you can see post method is also there okay so in post method also you can define it similarly like we did okay you can just click on enter and simply you need to do is paste okay guys so that's how we defined so here also you can do the same thing paste here also you can do the same thing because we want the same functionality for each and every endpoint so we have pasted it for each and every endpoint guys under each and every method okay, same for put okay so if we click uh, if you go to the documentation summary and if you click any of the endpoint let's say put so you can see here you need to pass correlation id now okay we because we have linked this uh, traits with this endpoint put endpoint okay so you need to pass correlation id every time and in headers okay so that you can see here under put endpoint it's marked as required so guys that's how this so we used to define these traits okay and how that's how we link these traits with the endpoints and different endpoints with the help of this code okay Okay, so guys now let's move on to the next uh, topic which is how we can define the security schemas so this is very simple okay even much simpler than that than defining the traits okay so let me show you how you can uh, define uh, security schemas basically okay so guys I will click enter so you need to write security schemes okay and under security schemes okay what type of uh, security scheme you want to apply so in guys in my case I want to apply some uh, what I would say basic auth basic authentication so I will write basic auth okay so I have defined basic authentication okay so that every time whosoever will consume your APIs they need to pass username and password for sure okay because we have applied the security scheme as a basic auth okay guys so now I will define write some description I will simply write basic authentication authentication okay oh sorry okay in the next line uh, now I will write a type okay it's the best practice to basic authentication okay simply okay so successfully we have defined this security scheme guys okay and then again you need to write one more code you need to write secured by by and click enter sorry semicolon is missing oh yes so you need to write secured by hyphen and then you need to write basic auth auth yes because this basic auth we have defined as a part of security schemes so if you want to secure these APIs you need to declare this word secured by okay and then you you can define this basic auth which you have defined here okay guys so that's how it works guys uh, let me paste it one more time I think it's giving errors okay now it's fine okay so, so successfully we have defined this uh, basic auth on all these APIs okay <laughs> So successfully we have defined the basic auth as well okay guys so that's how we covered uh, both uh, traits as well as security schemas how you can define traits how you can use security schemes okay how you can define security schemes okay guys so that was all about uh, this session guys okay so in upcoming videos we will also learn how you can publish 
this to exchange create an api in api manager okay and apply the authentication there okay on this client app okay on whatever client app you will create using this api spec how you can apply some uh, policies how you can apply some enforcements <coughs> client id enforcement or basic authentication how you can do that that part we will cover in the next uh, upcoming videos okay so i hope you understood everything on this session guys so thanks everyone thanks for watching this session see you soon bye Thank mm -hmm. you.